I yeah, know this dog has been yakking nonstop for a while, but uh, and not yards after catch. <laughs> Look at Migs. What is going on? What's going on, guys? What's good, everyone? I'm your boy, Mass. And I'm Migs. And this is Wolf's Web. We are Wolf Logic. Episode 52. And we are here to present to you a very, very, very sad episode. I ain't going to lie. There's been a lot of news coming out this past week. Uh, one of the big ones coming was uh, the fact that 99 Cent Store is closing down all their stores. And, you know, that one, that one hits close to home. You know, we went to... Plenty of 99 cent stores back in the day. Yep, um, and then yep. Dollar Tree was kind of like the the next tier up. That's kind of, I feel like Dollar Tree is kind of like the mid class 99 cent store specifically for that, if that makes sense. Yeah, but it's never in it. Because I hate that. I hate that when stores be like calling themselves Dollar Tree or Dollar General or something like that just because like it gives us like misconception like, oh, it's going to be cheap and you go in there and it's not. Yeah, well, I mean, that's probably the reason why they're going out of out of uh, business because the whole point of the store is to like everything in there is a dollar and now it's like three dollars five dollars you see some things almost ten dollars in there yeah and uh so i started noticing the the shift maybe in like 20 2018 2019 because by by 2020 it was already i think they had already raised it up to 99.99 cent store and that's when everyone was losing their shit Everyone was going fucking bonkers over here. I remember seeing on the news, like, people were having, like, a mental breakdown about the extra penny. And I thought that was really funny at the time. But now it's not so funny seeing, you know, everything that's going down. You know, all these businesses from from the two th- or that were, like, thriving in the 90s and 2000s, like, they're going out of business now. Yeah. Like, Toys R Us was one of them. Recipes. And uh, Sears is like pretty much losing all their stores. I know they still have like a couple left out there. That one over there by the Inland Center, that was open for a really long time, even after they were all closing down. And they're open though? No, I I, when I just noticed when we went to Beyond, it was that, that closed down too. Yeah, when we went to TJ, TJ, they still had one, the Sears, and I was like, what the fuck? So I'm assuming like probably in other countries, I guess they're more popping. Yeah. Uh, and then of course we lost Circuit City, and now we're over here losing 99 cent store. Hopefully it doesn't, lead to the dollar tree going out because that's that's where i get all my movie snacks you know we got to stock up before we hit the movies because ain't nobody trying to pay no five dollars for for some mid-ass candy y'all tripping yeah it's, it's, well you know i feel like nowadays the subscriptions are helping with keeping prices pretty fair because yeah. a lot of them they offer deals discounts uh now even at regal they offer that that recyclable um the bucket and the cup so I'm thinking about getting that. I think it's like thirty dollars up front though, and then ten dollars to refill both. You make your money back. Yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty pretty solid investment. Uh, but yeah, man. So hopefully that doesn't happen to Dollar Tree because even they have a lot of things that are, um, in the refrigerator. They go, um, I think. Well, all right. So everything in general in Dollar Tree is like a dollar twenty nine now, but the the refrigerators they range from one dollar to ten dollars. So it's like you'll see like pizzas in there, like full size, but they're like five dollars. They're not a dollar anymore. I never know. Well, to be fair, I rarely go to Dollar General. Damn, you rich, huh? I ain't rich. I just I barely go. Well, so you don't you never hit ninety cents or anything like that? I mean, sometimes, uh, but I just I rarely go out to stores. You know what I get? I feel like they'd be tripping on is those Dollar Tree uh, pregnancy tests. Damn, bro! I went to Walmart the other day and then. I really right there by the trash. There's a trash can right by like you go through like the entrance, and then they're like someone just just like opened up a plan B and just stole that shit. I'm like that's crazy. Oh hell yeah, man! I mean, all those adult you know items. A lot of people are stealing them, especially when you're like a young teen. You don't want to go and pay for that shit up front. You get that awkward, uh, <laughs> you get the awkward little look from the cashier. Yeah, man. I mean, it's I mean to to this day, it's still awkward just buying stuff for. Uh, personal hygiene or for like um, personal hygiene like what or like just uh, well you're scared to buy deodorant th- no I mean I, I mean like condoms and shit like that <laughs> that's not hygiene what the hell well, you didn't let me finish like, I, be- I meant to say like personal hygiene or like uh, what's, the aisle, what's the aisle called I don't know do they have an aisle specifically called for it that's crazy the Walgreens they be selling all that stuff like the lubricant and everything yeah KY jellies and shit nah but um 
but yeah, man. I, and another thing I don't trust at Dollar Tree is like the vitamins, the vitamins, the medicine. Yeah, I was like, I mean, I mean like, like, how how old is this? I don't even know how old is this. Like, what the fuck is in this shit? Ain't no way this is like normal medicine, and people just voluntarily go and buy the expensive brands, twenty dollar for a whole container. Where at the Dollar Tree, you only spend a dollar thirty. So that's why I'm saying I don't know how you gotta look into those ingredients. Uh, one thing I did find out is that the dish soap is for sure like mad watery because, you know, when times were tough and shit, I was I was buy- I bought the big ass one and, yeah. and bro, you literally had to like pour like so much for it to actually be like soapy because it would run out of the sponge like in one dish. And so you have to keep dumping it over and over and over and over. And so do you think they cut it with like water? I'm pretty sure most of it's water. That's um, crazy. But yeah, even even uh, probably like their version of Pine Soul or um, Windex. I wouldn't doubt it if it's the same concept. It's just all water, and so you're getting skimped as fuck for sure. But I mean, it's it's only a dollar twenty nine. So yeah. Uh, but I know a lot of people get their Tupperware over there. It's not too bad. Uh, the one thing I will not trust too is the utensils because they like super cheap over there. Like they break easy. Um, like, like plastic ones. Well, I get, are they plastic or is it just like cheap ass metal? Uh, I don't know. Well, nonetheless, you know, you really don't want to cheap out on on forks and spoons over there, and shit. yeah, <laughs> or even the the Tupperware because they're super small and they they can't handle like certain temperatures and stuff like that, or they break easy. Yeah, and then I, I, I someone told me like it's low key bad to be using like regular Tupperware. You gotta be using, like using like the glass ones and shit. For real? Yeah, because I guess um like. The chemical, chemicals, and you know, man, everything has cancer. And, well, actually, we we're talking about that yesterday. My mom and uh, Kitty, yeah, about like there's probably some shit that's going on, like in the, our food and everything that's causing like people to get like autism or, or just any type of disorder in general. You know, because everyone's getting diagnosed now, like, yeah. and it's more common where people are having babies and like there's some type of health it's, issue. Uh, I think it's uh, one in, it one in a double digit number, which is very low. It, one in a double digit number, every kid has autism. I forget. It, it, it was Probably like one in 20. Ten. No, I was like, well, it was 20 or something mm-hmm. like 60. Mm-hmm. It was one of those ones. It was like, a, it was an even number, but it uh, was still it, pretty low. It was either 10 or 90. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it's a double digit number. I remember that, but that's a still a low odds. Yeah, man. It's it's crazy. You know, it, it is true. You know, even a lot of people, it may not be so like severe of a case, but you know, everyone has a little bit of it inside of them, I guess. Yeah. You know, that's what I kind of want to go get checked, but I'm pretty sure it's expensive. Just get all those lab tests and everything. Even with insurance, bro, man, fuck insurance. Yeah, like, uh, I, I don't remember if I said this on the pod, but I, I paid like, um, how much did I pay in insurance? I think it's like somewhere in like the 80 range. Of, yeah, for um, PPO. Yeah, and, and just for me to go to the to urgent care and still pay uh $30 up front fee copay copay and then still get a fucking like a bill a, a bill in the mail I'm like, what good are you so i paid a whole 120 just for a stupid ass urgent care visit that was pretty pointless um so fuck insurance that's just a scam same thing with car insurance scam even though it is helpful <laughs> with yeah, the big accident uh, i think you actually get in trouble now like there's a law where you have to have car insurance i think you've always had to have that it was always been a law really um yeah because i got a ticket for not having insurance uh, when, when i got involved in an accident in 2015 i was over here well, it was my first time like having a car and all that so i didn't really know that it was mandatory nor did my parents really let me give me a heads up so shout out my parents on that one shout out um, the homie because i definitely would have got insurance bro I had a job and everything, so yeah. But um, yeah, no, I think it was a five hundred or eight hundred dollar ticket. Yeah, man. Yeah, so definitely go get your insurance, guys. Uh, the one thing that's fucking scummy though is the fact that people without insurance they can go and get into an accident and pretty much get away with it if they're lucky, <sighs> which a lot of the times it does happen. And it could have been me, but they decided to sue my ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because I was technically at fault with that accident, but it was like a three-car collision. It was like accident, back-to-back accident. Those are the worst ones because then, like, it's always a person at the end that's always at fault. Yeah, and that was me. Little old 19-year-old me. Damn. Getting fucked over from the beginning. I've always had bad luck with these fucking cars. That's why I don't want no car no more. But actually, one that did catch my eye, man, is the Prius, you know. They're really looking cool. Bro, you fill up your gas tank for like 40, 50 bucks, and that shit will take you everywhere. And the new models, man, they I, I really do like the design. I do too. I don't think I hate about Prius is like they're one of the most 
more broken into cars for catalytic converters. For real? Yeah, because they they use specific. They have a specific catalytic converter. They have like even more precious metals in them. So they're like they're like they're like super hot like commodities. Fuck that shit! I'm gonna get my shit slammed. Then ain't no one stealing nothing. Yeah, hey, you're right. They they can't even put the fucking car jack <laughs> under there. Bro, Honda Fits were like a big ass JDM car. Like you would see those like lowered, um, fat ass rims. You see some neon lights. Yeah. I really do like the old neon, the neon, the old um, Honda Fits. Yeah, they were cool, man. I remember I used to drive around that one. I, I used to uh, um, drive that in Forza Motorsport 3, that racing game. I don't know if you're familiar. I have never played it, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So on Xbox 360, um, one of the games that came with, I think it was four or five, uh, it came with the, the console. So I was playing that a lot. And the top cars I would roll with were the S2000 and the the Honda Fit, mainly because they're like the cheapest cars that you can modify the fuck out of. Yeah. But um, yeah, those Honda Fits are cool for drifting. And, uh, you know, I wonder if Prius can kind of get into that game too, the drifting game, because usually it's the hatchbacks. I'm sure you can. It's just more of like the uh, the, the CPUs in them. Like they'd be having like traction control. Like they like they do like they'd be adding like some like limiters on that shit. So like, it'll make it hard for you to like to be drifting. True, true. Well, fuck that. I mean, um, any, well, most people are getting the a Prius for the gas mileage, and it's usually some fucking. <sighs> I was about to say some racist shit, <laughs> but uh, usually, uh, maybe I guess her safer term is a uh, family men, uh, <laughs> or people that care about saving gas. I guess. Yeah. You know? Uh, but no, nah, man, I really do want one. Uh, I'm tired of these fucking high ass gas prices over here. Just when things were looking right, we're spending seventy bucks to fill up my fucking tank again. Damn. So yeah. I'll be whipping in that car then. Uh, do we? I mean, uh, yeah, I guess so. You, we fill up our tank probably like once a week, once once every week and a half. Yeah. Uh, it's, I don't know, man. It's hard. I feel like the gas just fucking speeds right through that. Uh, I wonder, is, is it a myth that like some gas lasts longer or like premium gas lasts longer? I'd say so. I remember one time I, I loaded up on, I think it was like Shell or Chevron, full tank. That shit lasted almost two weeks. So then that means it's true? I, I would say so because I really do think it, yeah, like Arco is cheap gas, but it's like, it is cheap money though. Well, that's, I don't I don't know. I, I don't really care enough about gas, I guess, I mean, even though they say it destroys Me, your car. Although I will say, I think the one that I don't like is mobile. Like I've always thought it was always expensive and it, that one just feels like it never lasts to me. Yeah, it was skimpy or whatever. Yeah. People say Shell and Chevron are like the best ones. I'd say so too. I've gone to Shell kind of, uh, good amount of times the one i don't really touch is chevron because those prices are absurd yeah like literally you go across the street arco or circle k and you you spend like 30 cent 30 cents less on a gallon like, what the fuck is this tecron shit that i keep putting in my car like like what like is yeah. it really gonna be helping this shit out dude i remember when i was first car searching uh, i would see like honda honda civics but it was like a very specific year mm-hmm. and model um but they would take the cng like they would have that little uh sticker the clear natural gas sticker and I seen like those gas stations, even though they're not like everywhere, um, you, you'll spend like two dollars a gallon just because it has that sticker. And I don't know what the qualification is, but I always wanted one of those cars just for that because not every car could get that. No, I think I, literally the only car I would see with that is the that Honda Civic. And it was like a 2004, 2005, somewhere in, the, in those year ranges. But yeah, man, I need to connect on that for sure. Is diesel expensive? Uh, or is it cheaper? It's, it's cheaper, but you waste more because it's made out of corn, I think. For real? Yeah, it, it, it's corn. Or it's some kind of grain. It's like a biofuel, but because it's cheaper to make, it's also like you basically kind of end up spending the same amount of money because you're always going to have to refill up the trucks and shit. What's up with people getting like some regular like Ford F-150 and like having to fill that shit up with diesel? Or like they want to. They, they do that for that reason, like... I don't know, man. I feel like those cars are just made to fucking annoy your neighbors because <laughs> Jonathan's, Jonathan's parents used to have one. It was like a lifted Ford F-150. The white one? Was it white or silver? So, uh, oh, no, no. It was, it was oh, silver. I think it was the silver. Yeah. Never saw one. But, bro, every time, every morning, that shit will wake my ass up. You hear that shit from across the street. I'm like, Eladio, that can't be your work, bro. Come on. <laughs> the daily? That's a, I swear that was their daily, bro. That was crazy. They had like two dailies, and that was one of them. <laughs> but... But no, that shit was loud as fuck. But I did like getting dropped off at school with that thing. Yeah, that shit was fun. That should be turning heads. Um, versus their Nissan Versa, the one that John is rolling in right now. Damn, I wonder when that one's going to take a shit. Damn. Then they force him to have it finally get You're a car. You're just counting down the days on the homie's downfall. <laughs> I'm like, I just like, come on, feel our pain. Get this car payment already. <laughs> 
Fuck no, man. If you guys are young, stay away from those car payments. Honestly, God, if you have a shit can, just, just have it, it have it till the wheels fall off. That's the toughest thing, though, is like when you're young, you just want to ignore everyone. And the same feedback, the same advice. And man, y'all don't know, y'all don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm going to go ahead and get my Dodge Challenger. Brand new, fresh, zero miles, but that shit's a trap. Yeah, man. Go and get your house first. Because yeah. these payments, I swear, they just roll over into a new car, into a new car, into a new car. Yeah. I've been so a lot of people too, bro. Especially a lot of people because sometimes they're like, they're just like, the dealers, even the dealers will even like hit you up like, hey, I see you're almost done. You pay it off. You maybe want to trade in your car for something maybe newer and cooler. Mm-hmm. And then more often than not, people are like, yeah, you know what? I want a newer car. Fuck this car. I know I only have like a year or more payment left, but no, like, let's go get a new car. Yeah, I already got some shit in the mail. Um, They're trying to get me to trade in my Kia back into the dealership to get like some like extra car value or whatever. That's crazy. It's some type of promo deal they're trying to do right now. But uh, yeah, fuck that. I'm good. I would have kept my old Civic, but my, my ex ran up the mileage on that shit. And it was just an eyesore. That shit was only two years old and that shit was almost at 70,000 miles. Damn, bro! It was literally an ice where, like, you know how you can switch the odometer to like trips. Yeah, yeah. I didn't really have to do that just because I couldn't look, I couldn't stand to look at it. So when they offered it to me, like, hey, we can like trade you in for this one to a newer one. I'm like, bet, give me that one. I feel like 40k miles is like that. Like when you start cringing a bit once yeah. you see the 40k. I'm, I'm at 70 now, but I, it, you know, it was I got it there through the normal pace. You know, I wasn't just was the normal pace 20 a year or like is it 15? 20, 20 to 25 something like that for real damn i thought well, it was I less. 15 is like if you're like leasing it like because you're basically technically not even supposed to be driving the car like that i think um on the veloster i was only putting in like 10 to 12k a year which was really really good and i only yeah, had it's great the, yeah so i still miss that car i i i, I I'll probably I, mean, I miss it, but only when I sat in the front. Yeah, the back. Never. I, feel, I do feel bad for the homies that had to sit in the back. That shit was torturous. It was because even sitting in the back seat of like a regular sedan, if you're, I guess if on the the window seats you're kind of on the clear, but that middle seat is fucking crucial because it's it's a little bit lifted. Yeah. So you still gotta go like tilt your head a little bit, and that's just annoying. The amount of times I've hit myself on the head. But yeah, I will say the Veloster for having three three doors only is kind of bold on them. But I think they had to do it for. A I reason. didn't mind it. I like the aesthetic of it, but when it comes to like people having to get out of the car, you got to scoot through the middle fucking the middle hard piece because it's yeah. not three seater in the back; it's two seater. The yeah, middle sure. is a cup holder and like a little platform. Yeah, but we made it work, man. You know, as being as we like, we jammed like the six of us in that car. Hell yeah! You know they need to bring back the Astro van. <laughs> for real. Yeah, I feel like now the only vans you see out there that are big and white are the fucking rapist vans. Like the like the cargo vans. Which by the way, we did um so you know how the Cajon Pass has that little side street that's that's not on the freeway. It's like the what's it called? Cleghorn? Cle- like the little the little secret pass where Yeah, the little secret on. pass or if you're from SoCal you know it pretty much. Um there's this little street right there and there's a lot of like empty parking space for everyone to park that does a little hike or whatever, or they just go over there and clap cheeks. But yeah. uh, there's a van right that we saw a poster right there. And low key, I was like, I was thinking like, I swear we just went past a serial killer or a mass murder rapist, whatever. Hey. Cause man, I don't know. Sometimes I think about it. There's these creeper vans out there and you don't know which one is one of them. Yeah. Especially when they have like the, like the windows. All t- that, and that fool did have or like the windshield removed. and front mm-hmm. windows were Blacked out tinted. Like, so what you got hiding there, bro? That's all I'm saying, bro. For sure, that fool was a fucking a, a child predator or something. Yeah. Oh <laughs> my god, dude! I saw something on Twitter right now. I was like, man, why? Not, why? I follow this account. It's like morbid, like news or something like that, and like it'll tell me like just stories of like 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 crazy ass shit that's happened. And like this one, I was just like, um, a little bit TMI disturbing, but like I guess some guy had like some mom had sold like her five year old daughter to some like drug dealer to pay off a debt. And she was only supposed to sell him off so she could have like sex with the kid and like rave her. And he ended up killing the kid too. And so the so the guy got sent to death. This I, was, I guess it was a while ago. And the mom just like back in twenty seventeen got sent to fifteen years of prison. And I'm like, damn, bro. Like, but I, I I'm I'm only giving you the the, the, the cliff notes because like I, the way I read it, I was like, this shit is fucked up. It is already fucked up. But I, it, the way it was explained in details, I was like, ah, damn. Why did I read this? Yeah, man. Uh, I was actually listening to a podcast. I think it was the one with Dr. Phil and Nelk. And they were actually talking about that, how like social media, you you get fed all this like, so people 
are addicted to to just being on their phones in general Mm -hmm. but when it comes to seeing like that type of stuff on social media like it's like like it's like like trauma porn pretty much it's just kind of like uh anxiousness that keeps you scrolling and trying to figure out more because you're like upset but you're trying to get to the end of it you're trying to see hopefully that the problem was solved or handled or whatever and that's kind of like something that's pretty common out there and that's why Uh, people would do it full victim of this because i'll be watching like videos of, like, well you just admitted that you follow the page like that so well, I, I, I mean yeah <laughs> so like people they do question yeah. like man we open these these social media sites and all we see the first thing is some crazy shit and every time i reach them from that account i'm like oh, man that's just that's fucked up because this is these are like true stories as that happened i'm like damn that's fucked up I'm yeah like, man, i can't believe that happened yeah, bro, it's crazy. Even on the news, man, we've been seeing that fucking that house in LA that's the just full of trash all day, man. It's like, so how did they let it get to that? Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of trash, though, have you seen that video of this guy disguised in the trash bag stealing a package from a house? <laughs> I saw that. I was like, that's just funny. <laughs> I'm like, hey, kudos to you, man. You you're doing the most, but I'm mean, like, if that, the, that package is that important to you. I wonder if you knew what it was because uh, you got to go to crazy l- limits to go to know, you got to know what the package is to go to those crazy limits because man I mean that fool looked like snake from Metal Gear Solid in the trash bag. <laughs> <did>. <laughs> I'm, I'm super glad I've never had a package stolen from me. Uh, I feel like we uh, I'm trying to remember what it was but I know we did before. Um, I Oh at the apartments we had just moved in and I ordered the steel toe boots mm. or shoes uh, and they said it got delivered and never got delivered. Like, I, or at least I didn't see it there. And they didn't uh, attach a picture either. So, um, but I tried to report it to, to shoot. How do you pronounce it? Shooteria? Shooteria. I, I reported it to them and they're just pretty much, well, that was, uh, it's not, it wasn't in our hands. So you're shit out of luck. So shout out those fools. They didn't fucking make the customer happy. So hopefully you guys close down more stores like you did already. At the yeah. Middle. Fucking bastards. No, but that place is kind of confusing. It's like I never really understood shoe stores that that go from like Vans and Converse and Uggs to Steel Toes. <laughs> like that's just weird. Yeah, they got they got it's a like the bit. Swami. They got a bit of shoes for everything. Yeah, but, but man, they're actually making these Steel Toes look like regular ass shoes. Like people are confused with my Pumas because I got some Puma Steel Toes. Yeah, they're like what the hell? I can't believe you made those. I wear these black ones because I have these black Vans. So sometimes I switch off because so, these ones are low key mad uncomfortable. So sometimes, like, I was just like, fuck it, I'll throw my Vans on. And, like, those ones are super car- super hard, but they look very similar. So people can't tell that I'm not wearing, like, still toes at work. Facts. I know they're always checking and shit. Uh, well, uh, I want to I wanna get those, like, those attachments. But then again, I'm not trying to dirty my clean-ass shoes. But I don't know. I just hate these still toes because they just, like, have no ventilation. Yeah, so they're just, fuck- like, spata and shit. Yeah, for sure. Every time I take these out, you see that fucking green steam. Yeah, you see, like, you, you put your, you, you step on, the, like, the floor. You see, like, your fucking, like, your, your sweaty ass feet. <laughs> yeah. <in the> <laughs> Brother, yeah, for sure. I think, I, I forget when it was, but that shit happened here. Um, You see, like, just, and it's weird because you see, like, your footprint. You don't see, like, the whole, like, shape of the sock. You just see, your, like, your toes. <laughs> yeah, you see, that's just, that's just always something laughing. Yeah. Man, these steamy ass jobs, steamy ass clothes. Nah, bro, but. I hate this weather right now because it's like super cold, and then like later in the day it gets hot as fuck, and and I feel like it's we just been in this fucking phase forever, man. We're already in mid April pretty much, and yeah. it's still dealing with this. Yeah, this should be weird because it was like uh, it was like hailing hot, in the hailing, morning. Yeah, I was looking scared last night. Yeah, and then it's snowing over here in in San Bernardino. It's crazy. <laughs> She's fucking tired. Right now. <laughs> because it's true. Yeah. That shit happens all the time, man. That's that's like the worst. I feel like that's my worst quality is like I'm a stink ass motherfucker when it comes to my feet. <laughs> no, me too, man. Because especially when I take them off, I'm like, Fuck. at least like I'm glad I'm in the <laughs> sanctity of my own room. Bro, I, so, <laughs> so I don't got to So no one else got to deal with this. One thing's for sure is I could take my shoes off in the movie theater. And ain't, no, ain't no one going to fucking think of shit. They're going to be like, damn, is that that butter popcorn smells dank as fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and who put seasoning on that shit? <laughs> Pass it down. I actually seen they're selling the little seasonings now. I don't know if you've seen those in the grocery store. Mm-hmm. Like they have like popcorn specific. I first seasoning. saw I first saw that shit in the Harkins. I'm like, damn, that's pretty cool. I, I just wish more movie th- movie theaters would like do it. Nah, what's some bullshit is, is Cinemark. They stopped having tapatio packets ever since the pandemic. Yeah, uh, that's my favorite thing to put on popcorn is tapatio. 
or I like Valentino preferably, but Tapatio is cool too. And uh, yeah, they don't there's have some kind of hot sauce. They don't even have any. I think there's like the closest thing is like maybe Tabasco. I think in could the be fucking wrong. theater. I could be wrong because I, I, I think you're wrong. I don't think they have any. Uh, I could be. Cr- well, I, could, I guess I could, I could be. Cap- no, I'm capping actually. Um, Oh girl, I went on a date with the other day. She she had to bring her own t- like whole hot sauce bottle because like they didn't bring it. They they don't be doing like the the, the type of teal packets. How many how many movie theater dates have you been on already? She likes going to the movies. <laughs> I, I I really like I really try to do it in those. And she's like, let's go watch a movie. I'm like, all right. You should take her to the drive-in. Oh, I should have. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I mean I don't. I, obviously, I'm not bad at it. I go to the movies a lot too. I fuck with the movies. I really want to see that, but that first Omen movie I was just telling you about it looks really good. The trailer actually, uh, fuck, there was this one important scene I was going to mention, but I forget. Um, but that, I don't know, the, the the trailer kind of sold me a bit, although there were like two jump scares, but according to my movie review guy, that those are the only ones in it. And it just gets really, really good from there on. That I, I, I like, I mean, I, mean I, I enjoy when they don't have a lot of uh, jump scares because I feel like that's just like a little hanging fruit. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like from 2000, maybe 2010. No, 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 I'm tripping. I feel like 2012 to 2015 was like peak jump scare shit or yeah. like movies were abusing that. Yeah, for sure. I remember one time, though, they got me really good. I think it was uh, not Insidious. It was the one where like, the, you remember like they were in a prison? Prison. Uh, some, was it The Nun? No, like the Insidious ones. Um, that's not the nun no or the, the, the nuns from the that, conjuring is that when they're the ghost hunter fools are there if it is it's conjuring no it's with um um the dude with the red door you remember the kid he'd like he'd be like having like i think dreams. that's insidious that's what i'm saying insidious okay did i say conjuring no no you're you're still like um confused you're there's like it was like the, it was like insidious like three or four or um uh-huh. and like um there was one part where like uh, she opens up a, like a suitcase and like this like she'll close the suitcase and then like that thought that that's when the jump scare is gonna go and then she opens it again yeah and then happens and then then she closes it again and that's when it comes out i'm like yeah, it got me good right there now the jump scares that piss me off still are the mirror ones it's like come on man we already see that shit coming from a mile away yeah the ones where they open them or they look in the mirror they bend down they look up and the fucking something pops up right there. That's just so stupid. Imaginary had some good jump scares too, but it was like subtle. Like it wasn't like trying to scare you. It just like you saw somebody that was in the corner. Like imaginary. Which one's that one? Is that the one? It's the one with the teddy bear. Oh, the 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 Ryan Reynolds one. No, uh, the horror one. I don't know. Like it has like a like a killer teddy bear. I don't think I know that one. I remember it at least. I, it's, a, it's a it's in theaters. I I I would recommend it. It's just yeah, that's Ryan Reynolds, isn't it? No, no he no. made it. Did he make it? I think I, he made it. I don't know if he made it, but um, uh, I it, it was cool up until they got into like there's like a dream world they have to go into. Yeah. And then that's where they kind of lost me a bit. I'm like, ah. Yeah, it is. Uh, Ryan Reynolds. Oh, okay. He's uh, even in it, fool. No, no, not that one. It um. Oh, that's if I'm if. stupid. That's if I'm stupid. Uh, that is confusing though. That if one. I wonder if it's like a comedy or like a child specific movie because it's like a bunch of imaginary characters or whatever. <laughs> you see that trailer for that um that sasquatch movie mm, maybe With like michael sarah no i don't think so that shit was funny as fuck. i feel like actually. this year is gonna have a bunch of good movies but yeah i like i like it and then, then i like that I'm, um there's not that many like superhero movies yeah i think there's only gonna be one this year which is cool because like you know it gives like more breathing room like, more other films to watch that aren't like you know like just like the flashing. Oh, I think Deadpool's scenes. the only one. Well, I mean, but, but Deadpool, Deadpool's good though. That one's gonna, yeah, that one's gonna be good for sure, or at least I hope so. Um, yeah, I, I feel like though I'm kind of worried that they're setting the expectations really, really high. But I think it'll it'll be good. I mean, both the other ones were good. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Um, but uh, what was I gonna mention? Ah, fuck, my legs hurt. Ah. Oh, you have you ever noticed that like they be having UFC at the theaters? They do? Yeah, yeah, they have like, or even the Super Bowl, they've had at the theaters, but you pay like 25 bucks to go into it. News to me. Yeah, so uh, some theaters host UFC fights, uh, 25 bucks a head, overpay, but whatever. Um, but I wonder if they're going to do that for WrestleMania, because that's coming out this weekend, right? Yes, it's tomorrow, I believe. <sighs> Two-day event nowadays. Yeah. That's pretty pretty wild. That's I don't know, that, that, that's kind of conflicting, though, really. 
because it's just like um, the two main event. I feel like one day is always better than the other. Always. Yeah. And that's kind of like, I don't know, if I was at least a WWE superstar or diva, I would be I would be kind of like salty to be on day one. Um, I think they, they try their best to just have it like in variety. So that way, not one is necessarily better than the other. Yeah. But I mean, there is always a clear better day. Um, I... I'm not even like I don't really technically watch wrestling like that, but I do really want to see this Cody Rhodes match just because I, I've been a big fan of him ever since he left the WWE. I was a big fan of him. Bro, I remember back. that feeling that fool was so fucking cheeks and what a disappointment to the family name. He <laughs> was, was like, bro, they, they didn't you know how to do him right. And honestly, to be fair, he didn't know how to like do bro, himself right. So that's why he had yeah, he was just a fucking regular guy with fucking black chonies and they made him like like they made him like in the, like a stardust kind of thing and i'm like oh that was a, that, that was that, when that, i knew that's what literally killed him brother He's i like, thought I it was end. over for him yeah, at so that like point he, he had to leave he had to like just really like refine himself and i think um, the blonde hair is a big help in the look yeah. at least like when it comes to the appearance and then he got bulkier because before he was like no fucking muscle bro like what are you doing in i this? remember i saw him um i don't actually i don't know if he was there. no he was there i remember when I'm, you know, i went with hyman one time and i think malik went too like all, like all the Bullet Club people went to the Hot Topic over here at the Mills. Mm-hmm. And it was funny because the Mills had no idea that they were going there just because uh, they were selling Bullet Club t-shirts. And so like they're all like like overwhelmed because all these wrestling fans were coming in here to take pictures with them. And like, I remember I got like a free like triple XL t-shirt I mean, just because they were throwing it. Like, I, I wore this to sleep. Fuck it. I went to the... The only time I went for like a fan signing or f- pictures uh, was for Rob Deerdeck when he went to Zoomies. But I wasn't I wasn't able to get in there, man. There's too many people. This was like and it's peak too, like during yeah. the fantasy factory. That's just crazy how much they like own or I don't know. I haven't really kept up to date with MTV the the channel. Yeah. Uh, cause uh last I remember is it was nonstop ridiculousness. And then you'll get like uh, old Jersey Shore episode here and there. And uh yeah, that really killed MTV. Did you see that? Um, I don't know. If it was a it was Reefer Surface interview. I think it was the Mike the situation. Or it was Mike or Poly D, and they were like basically saying, I don't know if it was a new interview, but it was or if it was a Reefer one. But they were saying like how like the producers caught on to them when they were trying to like like take pills or like like pop X C. Well, like apparently drugs. Mike had friends taking stuff. Over yeah, there. but they had like a code name. They're like they like oh. Um, uh, like how many how many chicks are there or how many ladies are there? That he's basically asking like how many drugs you have, and the the producers are eventually caught on to the, the lingo. Yeah, apparently, well, according to Vinny, because he has a podcast too. Uh, I'm not sure how true it is. Obviously, you know, sometimes you try to just deny, deny, deny. Yeah, but he denies the rumors of like people sneaking drugs and all that. Bro, but like, because there's obviously like a, a well known rumor that they would go to the bathrooms to do the drugs because you're not allowed to take cameras in there. Yeah. Which, I mean, I'm sure it did happen, but I don't know. Vinny denies it. But he's a goody two-shoes. Like, he was, bro. He was, he was the weakest one in the crew. <laughs> a lot of people... <laughs> I forget which... He mentioned that they were... Um, that he was pretty much treated like a side character when they had like a little reunion with all of them. Like the people hosting the reunion were treating him like a side character. Because like, oh. obviously the main ones to like meme or... or uh, cosplay as was um snooki um and uh mike the situation and Polly d yeah and then uh, you know like all the crazy toxic drama with ronnie and fucking um, what's her face uh, sammy sweetheart sammy so like you know there's talk, like so there was there's a lot of like big personalities so it makes sense why he just got put in the corner yeah man it's true well also well i guess ronnie kind of had stupid ass dog man you guys hear harley man in the background man we had to go to the vet again for her Three times, buddy. Three, three times, times. Three times. She goes to the she goes to the vet more than I go to urgent care. I swear. <laughs> um, I think it's time to put her down. I'm just kidding. Yeah, no. This dog has been yakking nonstop for a while, but uh, and not yards after catch. <laughs> why, fucking Migs. <laughs> <I'm> sorry, that is into it. Uh, what he means is like in the NFL terms is yards after catch. But they call it yak. <laughs> <laughs> this <laughs> the stare <laughs> oh my god <laughs> anyway um yeah so she was over here yakking her brains out non-stop and it was like white foam pink foam so we had to take her ass um, that pink foam was crazy because i'm like all right what did she ingest that they put out the pink yeah well i think it was just blood straight up because you can't because she wasn't eating nothing red so i think it was like blood apparently her like intestines were like kind of inflamed or enlarged and yeah. then 
there was like spots here and there of like it was essentially just air. Mm-hmm. I guess it was like clogged little spots. So they had to give her something that kind of helped push everything through. And yeah. uh, now she's good. And now he's spent so much money for nothing pretty much. And uh, she's normal. That's the thing. It's uh, I <laughs> Was I telling you that like it pisses me off when you pay so much and like just to be told like everything's all good? It might have been. I was like, bro, you better have lost a leg for that fucking yeah, price. Yeah, you did tell me that. Yeah, man. That's just, ugh, it pisses me off, man. It's not, that's how I feel about myself too, man. That's why I don't like going to urgent care because every time I go, it's just a simple like little pat on the back. No, everything's good. Uh, just give it a week. Uh, here's some. Here, we're going to be prescribing you antibiotics. Just take it and you should be good. And literally, I don't even have to take it for the full week. I just take it for a day or two and I'm already good. And Yeah. Yeah, I just feel like I wasted all that money. Which yeah, which reminds me, or what were you going to no, say? No, go ahead. I was just going to say, which reminds me is uh, <laughs> there's a Long Beach Griffey video where he's kind of like mocking like when they discovered medicine. So they were ta- he was he was talking about like when people discovered uh, like cancer treatments or like stuff that cures people. And, and, and he's like saying like, oh, we sh- now we can go and cure the world. And people were like, uh, he was mocking the i guess who would it be the in charge scientists labs or whatever i guess and so they'd be yeah. like, or oh the government he would say the government would be like or we can go and sell this cure or we can go and charge people and constantly make money off of them and even though they're dying and stuff like that and i don't know it's just funny that's true that's what happened with the diabetes of medication yeah or even cancer bro like people say marijuana cures cancer and maybe not straight up like simple as that but i'm sure it can like really help it like really help you lean into the right direction. At yeah, least. no, I, I think so for sure. Especially um, like when people go like, I be, be hearing all the time, like people are going like, um, they be, going, they be having cancer, but then they, so they go to like an all natural kind of diet. They don't like just, they basically just be eating just like leaves and plants and stuff. Like they don't even eat any like processed, like, f- like fruits and vegetables. That's all they, but they just eat like supernatural shit. And eventually like their cancers be like, be going away and shit. Yeah, man. Um, I, 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 I forget. I think, what, so what's the difference with like THC and um, what's the other shit CBD like CBD. what are, what are, what are all those differences Well resident bud tender what happened what's the difference Bud tender Re- resident bud bud tender ex bud tender I'm sorry That's what? just so, <laughs> so what's the difference CBD is fake THC CBD is fake THC if you, you heard here Oh. Think like, think of it like watered down fucking marijuana. Oh, okay. watered down marijuana. Okay, okay, that was very insightful, very helpful. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess that was a bad. This isn't the the platform to be asking that question because we don't know shit about shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man. Um, I I have definitely. I remember I was working at what was that place? It was uh, AutoZone. I was working at the AutoZone warehouse, and this guy he was going to like college and everything to be a scientist. He was telling me that he like treated his his mother in law that had cancer with like this crazy like medical or marijuana stuff. I don't know exactly what he gave her, but it was like it was like a, a like a routine he built for her. Yeah, and it pretty much cured it. Like she came out cancer free, and uh, you know that's uh, obviously that's always been a conspiracy is like they're hiding or they make they make all these things illegal just so that you know people are dealt with you know those cancer and such you know such as things like that and they keep paying for medicine paying for hospital bills paying for this paying for that yeah and uh that's like the ongoing cycle of of the health industry i guess well it should be crazy though because like, i remember i saw like a f- even like a food video like of like a side by side of uh, i think might have been like like some kind of cereal or some kind of chips and like like it was like some bag of uk chips and bag from the u.s and like the ingredients in the U.S. chip versus U.K. is, cr- is it, like crazy because like the, U- the U.S. Mm-hmm. has like all these extra like preservatives and chemicals and food coloring like that that that's literally illegal in other in other fucking countries because it because of who knows maybe it has cancer causing chemicals. Yeah, our um, well, the one thing they say about about um our roosters or our chickens and their eggs is like they're so fucking they're so much bigger than the ones you'll find in other countries and they're like yeah well what do you guys think you guys are injecting in those animals and that's the reason why our serving sizes are so much bigger and like why we crave much more bigger per, uh, portions yeah and uh yeah that's why we're obese 
That's why we're an obese ass country. Yep. Compared to like Spain or whatever. Oh. But then again, a lot of these countries are like they don't get enough uh, nutrients as like how much we do. So they don't even eat as much as we do. Nah, so. they, all they be doing is just like smoking cigarettes like fucking every single day. Yeah, but for sure, one thing I've noticed is like a lot of like, um, I guess, I guess well, yeah, Mexican immigrants, they'll come over here and they'll fucking get fat as fuck. Fuck yeah. It happens, it happens to the best of them, man. Mm-hmm. You know, they just start getting pistoled and they start eating fucking McDonald's every other day. Or you get like a whole bunch of pizza. And, that, you know, that's just what happens. A lot of them get like that. Yeah, I, mean, I can't count any cousins. I've, like, crossed the border and, like, they've gotten, like, fat because they, <laughs> we'd be taking them to Farmer Boys. Yeah, they're eating week. good over here, that's for sure. Hey, for real, over there at the rancho, man, all they be eating is frijoles and fucking water. Not even water, Coke, because they don't even like water. Oh, can't, bro, I, uh, who was it? Oh, I, it was actually David Santos. I, if you're watching this, shout out to you. Yeah, I'm going like, to leave it in. Fuck it, I don't think you'll get that offended. I see my boy post on his story at like 7, 8 in the morning. That fool had like that. <laughs> the hibachi? Yeah, the hibachi with a fucking Coke. Yeah, I've told him, bro, you, yeah. have, you have a shit diet at work. He's like, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I, I mean, that's the same thing with Eno, bro, over here fucking hey, pounding a Coke. You know, it's crazy, bro. That fool be eating like Coke. He be eating like burritos for breakfast at 7 in the morning. Like That's bro. Poncho, man. He has like three meals at work. He alone. do, bro. And yeah. he's always he's always hungry. Yeah, man. I, I don't know. I don't know. That scares me. It scares me what we can start trending towards. You know, now we're getting older. Our metal- metabolism is slowing the fuck down. Um, well, the beer too, man. I mean, it doesn't help that the the alcohol industry is thriving right now. You get a new seltzer every other week. Business is booming. Business is booming. I, I noticed actually the 7-Eleven right here, they have all the single cans of the hard Arizonas. Oh. Yeah, I really want to try them. I've heard they're really good. I know the mango one, you can really barely taste the alcohol. So I wonder if the others are the same. You know what? I always get tripped out, though, because I grew up on Mucho Mango, the flavor. Yeah. And I trip out on people that, like, never have tried that one. They Like, their go-to is the watermelon or fruit punch or the tea one. Uh, yeah, that is weird because, like, that, I feel like that was probably, like, in the rotation. Like, I, I actually don't really... I don't really like drinking like the juice ones. I'm more of a tea guy because I would always drink the mucho mango, the watermelon, the strawberry, the fruit punch. I, I would always drink those like constantly. And then I got sick of it. I'm like, I'll just drink green tea or like uh, the black and white tea. Like those are my go-tos if I get a monster. Nah, man. I, I, I've never been. Well, okay. So I didn't start liking tea. Not all right. So I don't even like the regular tea. I got to have sugar in my tea. It has to be like sugar the fuck out. Sweet as fuck. Um, because otherwise I will not drink it. I hate tea. Um, but it wasn't until I became like an adult pretty much where I started drinking like teas because I remember at Yoshinoya, they would always have the lemon, the lemon one, the brisk mm-hmm. tea. And I would stay the fuck away from that shit. It look, it tasted gross. I tried it one time. Yeah. Never, I mean, it's not brisk. But now that I'm an adult, my taste buds change and I, I really, really love it. And especially peach tea. And peach tea is fire. Yeah. Peach or tea. some Arnie Palmer's. Or witch witch tea. Oh my God. Hey, they got good tea. Yeah. Ah, man, I haven't had witch witch forever. Same, bro. It's fire. I miss Quiznos. I miss Witch Witch, even though it's still a thing. But yeah. Quiznos for sure died the fuck out. I, I don't. I don't know if they. The last time I had it was when we went. Remember? Yeah, that's the same. Oh, yeah, that was the last time I had it. That was like in like 2016 or 17. Yeah, fuck. Hopefully, it's, hopefully I can find a location somewhere out here. But uh, also Chiba Hut. Now that we have one in Riverside. Hey, shout out Chiba. I still haven't gone to that place. Uh, I went there with Dread. Yeah, I took him over there once. I introduced it to him because I knew he was like a pothead or whatever. So. I wanted to show them over there. It's like a marijuana themed sub shop. Um, T- very tasty sandwiches. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If you guys have one in your area, go try that thing out and shoot us a sponsorship, please. Please, I like sandwiches. I wonder when we're gonna get our first sponsor. Like, who, who it's gonna be? What it's gonna be? Watch it be like some fucking tampon company or something. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, man, I'll do it. <laughs> nah, I would love to get a sponsorship from like Cinemark. Because cool. uh, some movie review guys I, I watched have that. But they're not going to do that for us, obviously. We're not no, like, movie-based or movie theme. No. Um, we can be, though. We're very movie-versed. Facts, facts. Start a little sub-movie sub, sub movie pod. Fuck. If only there's enough time in the day. Yeah. Yeah, but um, what's, what was I going to mention? Uh, one of the new news I actually heard of, uh, I guess uh, Orlando's Halloween Horror Nights, they're going to be starting that in August now. Why? I don't know, honestly. I mean, it is the last week of August when they're starting, but they're just extending it. And, you know, I mean, 
it's a good thing, I think, because it's just spreading Halloween, you know? It's, yeah. It's helping it last longer. I think these businesses are catching on that Halloween just comes and goes like at the fucking snap of a it's finger. It's so fast, bro. I tell you. Um, when, 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 do you, when do you start? When do you start Halloween? We start in August. Okay. Well, there you go. They're just catching so up. So they're you. catching up. They're catching up. And uh, I hope Hollow, the, the Hollywood one does the same thing where they start in August now because uh usually the earlier you go the cheaper it is and then yeah. once it gets like prime like or the mid of october it starts going up and then uh sometimes you'll get lucky and go on november 1st or 2nd for like half the price Indeed, those worth but the i feel like it just kind of kills the i don't know i feel like after after halloween you're already like i don't know just it's, it doesn't hit the same Nah, it doesn't I, I will say like the spooky feeling dies very fast after fuck the, yeah the 31st, bro. Bro. People literally the the next day after Halloween they already wipe everything out and they bring in all their Thanksgiving stuff yeah. or Christmas even. You'll see Christmas trees already. Bro, I remember seeing some people had Christmas trees in, in October. I was like, ain't no way. I feel like um Christmas lasts a lot longer than Halloween. Cause yeah. by because right after Halloween, you know, everyone's already looking towards Christmas. Thanksgiving is just that holiday that just it's in between. Yeah, it just comes, you know, and people are just most excited to eat. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, man, but uh, kind of makes me feel for those people that just go to drive through is Thanksgiving night because they ain't got no families. Uh, yeah, actually, I was like, I do know somebody, but I don't know if, I want, if he wants to <laughs> put that out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, let's see. So we were talking about alcohol recently, and that reminds me, bro. I actually have a little confession. I don't remember if I told you or not. Confession. But at Beyond Wonderland, um, I had purchased two drinks. Mm-hmm. And then I forgot to ask for a water, but the drinks were cans. So I'm very conflicted on this. And I know I'm not alone. The whole tip culture that's going on, mainly in SoCal, like LA area, it's like you're, you get, you're like pressured into tipping for anything and everything. And, and so when I had ordered these two tall cans, I didn't tip initially. And then I remembered right away, like, oh shit, I got to get this water. And then the girl, the bartender, she had seen I didn't tip. She was like, see, if you would have tipped me, I would have given you that water bottle for free. And I was like, fuck. I was like, you ain't got to put me out there like that. But well, I mean, in those situations, like, especially if you keep coming back to the girl or the guy, like, they remember you. like, And, like, they'll hook you up. So that's the thing with, okay, so at raves, typically we get tall cans, we get mixed drinks, we get this, this, this that. Yeah. So we tip a lot throughout the night, probably like 30 bucks in tips alone. And, you know, I just, I don't know, it doesn't sit right with me tipping someone just to open a can. It's I, like, I'm very, uh, like, I, I, I'm, I don't know, dude, because, like, I, I feel you, but I still do it. But I have, there have been times where, like, I know I'm just getting water. Like, I'm not tipping you just for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The water, non-alcoholic things, that's a no-go for me. Although I'm I, ha- sorry, I have, I have done it before. So that fight all the water turns. I've done it. I've tipped, I've tipped. And all the dumbass reasons to tip. It went from five to seven twenty eight, and I'm like, fuck. But yeah, now that I've gone, like, I've given, starting to give less fucks. I don't care about your stupid ass tip just for cracking open this can. I don't care about your stupid tip just for handing me a soda. Um, I don't know. I think that shit's just dumb. And for you to get pressed about that too is even more dumb. Yeah. Like, like I would understand the mixed drink thing because it takes time. You got to mix. You might get a little dirty. Yeah. You know, it's a little bit more stressful. You got to get the proportions right. Like you're not gonna have like these other hundred drunkards tipping you randomly. Like you, you can't just slide me like, like you know, let me get excused for once. Yeah, but watch this shit get me canceled. Why? All the, all the, the. <laughs> well, I mean, tipping, tipping culture is always such a hot uh, topic, you know, just because like, yeah, it's more of an American thing. You're not gonna see this in anywhere else. Oh yeah, else. in it's other only, countries they look at you like, what the? They fuck? actually, like, actually, like, they get mad at you like, hey, don't tip, man. Yeah, you're basically, like, I don't need that. You're basically shitting on them, saying like, yeah, you, like you need this money. That's why the entitlement is crazy nowadays. But, you know, get your money, I guess. You know, just get the sucker's money. Don't, yeah. Because whoever is willing to pay, cool. I'll pay at a restaurant for sure. Oh, of course. But but if you're going to give me dog shit service, I ain't giving no tip. I don't care. If you wanted this tip, you better work for that shit. I went to Chili's last, after, like last weekend. And um, I, my throat was fucked, so I couldn't eat, which is annoying because I was hungry, but I could barely eat the food, so I had to leave. But the guy that was serve me, he had amazing service. He was chill. He wasn't like pushy or anything, but he'd just come around randomly like, hey, you need extra water. You want another beer? You cool? You want some chips? It's just like mad chill vibes. And like he like he was like 
I saw your, uh, you needed to go play. I was like, yeah, man. And I gave him $20. And that's been forever since I've tipped somebody $20. But he had that but good of a service. Yeah, man. The the service at the restaurant in Hawaii we went to, I, it's called Michelle's, I think. Are you going to take uh, Little Man's over there? No, not there. That's too expensive. Hell no, bro. We dropped like three, five hundred or three, four hundred last time. It's just me and Kitty. Damn. But and then we spent, I think we gave him like, a, some chicken nuggets. I don't remember the tip. It must have been like 50 or 80 dollars. Oh, it was 100 dollar tip. And that's because his service was crazy. This fool was like giving us backstories of every single court, like meal, every, every piece of a drink of wine. Um, yeah, yeah, he was giving, he, re- he really did care about you and he gave us like free desserts for our, our anniversary. That's a, that's a good service. So, yeah, yeah. So, so that's what I'm saying, man. I get, I have no problem tipping. Did you guys go to that shrimp truck that's always like popping? No, but uh, I did have it on my list, but I think we had found some like barbecue spot instead. Yeah, yeah no, but we didn't go to the shrimp truck place, but for sure next time we go to Hawaii, I'll go there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited uh, to try that out. Uh, you know, I love shrimp. Um, we have blazing crab over here in Fontana. It's fire. Uh, uh, how is that? Did, uh, did you go to Star Crab too, or just? Yeah, we went to Star Crab. It's whatever. I don't like that much. I think Kitty might like it, but nah, it's whatever's to me. Is it like a buffet style kind of thing, or is it more no. like a red lobster kind of situation? Um, no, it's like blazing crab. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, it's it's the same concept, same everything. They used to have the sizzler at the new one right here. Um, that's where they replaced. I miss Sizzler. Is Sizzler still a thing? Mm, I can't. I can't recall ever seeing one, but I do remember I used to go when I was a kid. And I, man, this place is tight. Yeah, they even closed the Claim Jumper in Rancho. Well, oh, Fontana not Rancho. the Claim Jumper. Yeah, man. A um, bunch of restaurants are going out. I wonder why. Is it just Mexican culture like taking over? Because you got the Mama por Dios, you got the El Pescador, you got what's the other one? Calaveras. Calaveras. Um, there's like the uh, like the kind of uh, I don't want to be mean and say want to be like they 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 try to do it in that fashion. There's like, so many of those. Yeah, like um, uh, and the the we, one over there by in front of George's Burgers, which is actually pretty oh, cool. I yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that place a lot. Um, we you know, we need Italian restaurants to start taking over, man. We need more of those. Um, yeah, you know, there's too many people going to to Olive Garden, uh, Johnny Carino's. We need some more spots. Uh, we need some more uh, Asian cuisine, I guess. I like Asian. Just, like I like I like. Don't get me wrong. Give me, you know, like my inst- like you know my Chinese food. But you know, I, I, I there's other Thai like uh, Chinese food, like, like. Why are all Indian restaurants out here at least called Indian cuisine? Why them spe- like is that like a part of their culture specifically? I th- I don't know. That's a good question. Because I don't see like too many cuisines in any other you know ethical. Restaurants, just them. Yeah, they they are the only ones that say any cuisine. I've I awesome. I've only been there like twice. To like I restaurants. really want to try it, but I, I I gotta know the I gotta get a heads up of what's the best thing to get because like, I'll like, get something gross as fuck if I just go in there blind. They have a lot of plant based dishes that are pretty good, and like the butter chicken and and then and the tiki masala, even though that's like basic thing. What's your favorite cultural food? Um, that's not Mexican. You go Mexican. I I guess Mexican. Yeah. I, I especially so. now these days. I've like really like you know, like I fucking love chilaquiles. Chilaquiles. Oh I yeah, chilaquiles chilaquiles fire. Every day. Hell yeah, that's like my favorite breakfast at the moment. Uh you know, I, I think I would have to go with the Italian. Italian, then Mexican, and then Chinese. Yeah. Uh yeah, same. Well And then American. Mexican. American oh, is yeah. just what, burgers and hot dogs? Technically, I guess, yeah. Corn dogs? What about corn dogs? Is I feel, that like I German? Feel, I feel like American is just like a weird I feel thing. like German, hot dogs are German. Yeah, because like American is just like a melting pot to begin with. True. So it's never really like a, like a thing. Like even like hamburgers, are, they're from fucking Germany. People like hamburgers. But I just wanted to remind you guys that we have a show coming up April 19th at the Avalon in Los Angeles. We're going to be performing with Gesture and Ivar. Um, if you guys want to come out, we'll have the ticket link in the description below. So go ahead and hit that link and specifically get your ticket from that link. It gives Please. us, it gives us credits showing that we pull, we, we do. pull. Um, but, but yeah, it's a good look for us specifically. Uh, no me hitting us last minute. Like, hey, Oh man, the, like you, you guys still have tickets. I'm like, we've been saying it for weeks <laughs> for real, man. So yeah, we got it. I think we're going to start hyping it up every episode from here on out till the day of. April 19th, that's a Friday in Los Angeles. Uh, go submit your PTO. Uh, go hit up your, all your family to pull up. 
Yeah. Um, it's funny because I actually have like a birthday party like the night, the day after that. I didn't realize because I remember my cousin, she, I'm always missing my. That's 420. Yeah, she was born 420. Wait, isn't something else 420? Oh, the Ryan Garcia fight. Oh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, Ryan Garcia and uh, what's his name? Uh, Devin Haney. It's an eventful weekend for me, I guess. Then. Well, are you going to watch it over there or you don't really care? Uh, I mean, or, I'm sure they'll have it on there. Like, they love fighting. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for that one. Who do you got? Uh, Honestly, Devin Haney. Devin. I, 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 I don't know what the fuck's going on, with Ryan, bro. I, I don't even know if he's in, if, he, if he's all in there. I mean, well, yeah. thankfully, he hasn't been like super out there lately. I yeah. guess um, he's still a little weird <laughs> right now. But yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's gonna be either a tie or Haney, just by a little bit. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I that, feel like ever that s- Pitbull Cruz food though. That food was crazy. Who's that? That dude from the the other fight. Like I think it was like last week or the week before that, where he knocked that fool out in like the second round. Like short beaner dude, like with the like the with the one high top fade. He came, he came out with the sombrero with the white sombrero. Yeah. He uh he almost beat Gervante Dake Davis, but they lo- they gave it to him in decision. Mm. But although and even though people say like it could have been Pitbull's Cruz fight to win also, so True. but he he he's he's like he he does look like a little Pitbull too. Crazy, <clears throat> crazy. Um, well, I'm excited for that fight. Um, also excited for the Mike Tyson J- uh, Jake Paul. Just to see uh, what Mike Tyson still has to offer, I guess. I, I mean, you would think that you're still scared of him, even though he's like old as fuck. But yeah, but it's Mike, bro. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I guess. Um, who do you, who do you think you have on that one though? Because there's only going to be a, a determined winner by knockout, by knockout, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I I don't know. I can't see either of them getting knocked out. Honestly, me either. They're so pretty, pretty probably, good fighters. Yeah, yeah. And and I don't think Jake Paul's been knocked down before. Has he? No, right? No, he lost that fight, but he wasn't necessarily. Yeah, he didn't get down. knocked down at all. Um, He's a big boy. So, yeah, it's just it's just hard. Well, yeah, I'd say it's pretty hard to get knocked down in in boxing. You got to be like a real real like heavyweight like to knock someone out. Or you got a heavy fist. Or you just got to get got one time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll go ahead and end this episode. We'll see y'all next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, sorry, these have been a little bit short, but uh, we'll give you guys some more longer episodes in the future. Yeah, uh, we're still figuring out our little studio space. Uh, as you guys can see, we're on the floor, floor you know, constantly swapping positions. My fucking legs hurt, my ass hurts. Yeah, uh, it doesn't help that we've been sitting down for like 10 plus hours <laughs> on a forklift. Facts, but uh, yeah, thank you guys again for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on notifications when you see any you got anything uh, new, and we'll see y'all next week. Peace. Peace.